o'clock tonight, nestled between antique shops and restaurants, there is a new tenant gaining a lot of attention north of Houston. The Greater Church of Lucifer is celebrating its grand opening later this month on Main Street and Keith Street in Old Town Spring. Only on two, our Keith Garvin takes you inside for a tour and talks with members who believe they're misunderstood. Here in quaint Old Town Spring, literally a first of its kind. There's a brand new church that's opening its doors soon, but we're not talking about just any old church. We're talking about the Greater Church of Lucifer. In about three and a half weeks, the Houston area will see the doors open on one of its newest churches, but it's unlike any you've seen before. This will be the first known home of the Greater Church of Lucifer, right in the heart of Old Spring near Christian churches, antique stores, and flower shops. But church leaders say it's not that Lucifer. A Luciferian would find it insulting to bow before any perceived deity. Uh, we, we don't believe uh, as a basis in the existence of a deity that wants us to worship it. Luciferianism has been around in some form for centuries, but this is the first time members have erected a building to conduct services. One of the co-founders who goes by the pen name Jacob No says for people who visit, they'll get a different kind of church experience. We do not have a preacher. Uh, we do not have somebody saying this is the way it has to be. You have to live this way. Although some of their symbols may be disturbing to outsiders, leaders say they view Lucifer not in the Judeo-Christian view as the devil, but as a source of light that challenges people to think outside the box. For them, it's all about the individual. We're giving a platform for people to explore themselves with ultimate freedom. Be able to look in the mirror and say, I understand you better. The Greater Church of Lucifer is scheduled to open its doors on October 30th, and they say they are getting interest from all over the world for their grand opening. Reporting from Spring, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News.